Agora TV. The world is thinking. Uh, but why would Oswald take a shot at Kennedy? That, that is a tough question. Even if he were alive today, he may not be able to tell us the dynamics swirling around in his fevered mind that led to this monstrous act of, uh, uh, of killing. However, we do know certain things about him. He had delusions of grandeur. He had a diary. What did he call it? Historical diary. A squad mate of his said that Oswald wanted to do something that 10,000 years from now people would be talking about. Marina, the wife, said that he used to compare himself with the historical figures whom he read about in these biographies. And there was something else that I used in London on the issue of motive. And as you know, motive is never an element of the corpus delicti of any crime. You don't have to prove motive, but the jury wants to know why. And if you can prove the presence of motive, that's circumstantial evidence of guilt, and the absence of motive is even stronger circumstantial evidence of innocence. So we got into this motive thing, and there was something that I was reading that leapt off the pages to me, probably because of Manson, more than anything else. I was reading Oswald's diary, and there were two references there. One was that anyone who lives under capitalism and communism, as I have, has to be opposed to both systems. But then here, here was the key one. Because I had to come up, I didn't have to come up with motive, but I did want to come up with some strong motive. And here was the key one. He said, anyone who lives under capitalism and communism has to, quote, despise, now we're talking passion, right? Hatred. Has to despise the representatives of both systems. The word representatives left leapt off the page. I mean, why? Because the Manson killings were representative killings. Manson didn't know who these people were, but they symbolized the establishment to him, and he was viciously striking out at the establishment on these two nights of murder. You follow? He didn't know who they were. He didn't care, but they represented a society to him, the white pigs, he called them, the white establishment. So here I see Oswald talking about despising the representatives. So I'm starting to think it's a representative killing. Oswald did not hate Kennedy, but we do, it didn't appear that he hated Kennedy. Marina said there was a little jealousy, but he did not hate Kennedy, and he liked certain aspects of Kennedy, but he did hate the United States of America. No question about that. He spoke about it all the time. So from that, I started thinking that, uh, and I told the jury I didn't know, but I asked them to consider this, that Oswald may have viewed Kennedy as the quintessential representative of a society for which he had a grinding contempt, and that when he was shooting at Kennedy, he was shooting at the United States of America. Now, you may think I'm playing with words or far out. Who knows what was going on in his mind? All I do know is whatever his motive was, he killed uh, uh, Kennedy. I mean, I've put people on death row without knowing exactly what the motive was. All I knew is that they put people six feet under and they didn't have any legal justification for doing so. So we don't have to know motive, but that's a tough question of why he did it, and we're never going to know the answer to that question.